The last year was a remarkable milestone in Cedars history in that it was our 75th anniversary, originally founded in 1941. This year was characterised as one of celebration as a forward-looking organisation committed to supporting individuals and families living with disability, autism and brain injury to live the lives they choose. We began the year by launching a new five-year strategy, Opportunity, Choice, Inclusion, with a vision of an inclusive society for all. Our celebrations began with the opening of a new regional resource centre at Ravenhill Reach, by the then Minister of Health and Social Services, Mr. Simon Hamilton. Celebrations continued with the recognition of our staff and volunteers for their personal achievements, length of service and extraordinary commitment at an awards ceremony held in April. This was followed by a reception at Queen's University in June when we had the opportunity to look back at the organisation's exceptional achievements over the past 75 years. But most importantly, the year was one in which we looked to the future with the establishment of new services that included the commissioning of a new supported living facility at Matavale Court in partnership with Triangle Housing Association, Southeastern Health and Social Care Trust and supporting people. The year ended with a special reception for parents and young people attended by the First Minister Arlene Foster who launched the big lottery funded Right For You service in Enniskillen where the First Minister commended our innovative response to meet the needs of children and young people with autism and their families. Throughout the year, we continue to advocate for the needs of people with disabilities to government through our user forum's seven regional groups. The forum actively engaged in the Northern Ireland Assembly Outreach Programme and participated in the consultation process leading to our current programme for government. This reflected the way in which we not only provide practical responses to identified need, but also how we advocate for change by ensuring the voice of people with disabilities and their families is heard throughout the mechanisms of government. As we progress with the second year of our strategy, we look to the future with confidence. The new year will see the establishment of two remarkable supported living projects at the Muse in Belfast and Johnson Way in Lisburn providing support to people with the most complex of disabilities to live valued and independent lives in the community. These are undertaken in partnership with Choice and Habentech Housing Association, the Belfast and Southeastern Trusts, and supporting people, reflecting our continued commitment to innovate and work in partnership. We are consistent in our resolve to support people with disabilities to be active members of society taking every opportunity to participate and engage in the civic and economic life of our community, having a social life, a job and the opportunity to contribute. We will work with our value partners through the various government bodies, civic society and the business community, but most importantly, we will ensure that we are representative of the views of people with disabilities as we continue to work towards an inclusive society for all. I hope that you will find the following video reports to be a helpful illustration of the impact of our work and the significant difference made by everyone in CEDAR. CEDAR. Opportunity. Choice. Inclusion.